Hey guys, and welcome to another video from um, FX Delta Software. Today we're looking at Aussie Frank, and as you can see, there is four hour chart bearish pattern there, which means we should more likely focus on the sell side. Now, I do like the bearish pattern itself, <clears throat> and it overall looks good. However, I always like to go ahead and check out the higher time frame, see where the price stands in terms of levels and all that. And here, what we can see going up to the daily chart is that uh, there was a breakout of a channel or a wedge or some kind of structure that you can name as you wish. But overall, what we can see is that there is bearish trend and this kind of pullback or consolidation taking place. And now the price is breaking to the downside. That being said, it's very likely for the price to go ahead and reach at least the previous swing low, maybe even the levels below it, right? So we have a few spikes here. And then the next level that we can see is somewhere around the bottom. So this one marking a few zone supportive levels below the current market price in case I get triggered for the downside. Um, what else we can say here is that a major swing low was also taken at the same time the channel or the wedge or whatever you want to call this uh, formation was broken down to the same side to the downside and we're looking at this thing um, in the perspective of a single candle here right this is the candle where both breakouts are taking place. So from the higher time frame perspective, I overall like what I'm seeing. And right now, the price seems, <clears throat> excuse me, to be taking uh, some sort of consolidation here, the shape of a consolidation, because right after the breakout here and here, we can see there was a pullback retesting, which means this line means something to this market. And then we can see that on the way down, the price stopped right here, creating a spike and then playing around this level. Then on the up move, that was the same kind of spike. So this level also means something for the price, right? And that's kind of obvious and clear because if we take a look on the levels before that we can go ahead and see there are actually zones in these levels right I, i'm not going to um mark all of them to clutter the chart but in general you get my point so in my opinion the price is currently consolidating right here after the breakout luring in more and more buyers which is likely going to provide uh, the next opportunity and the next leg down. So my focus here is definitely to the downside. All right, that's all. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.